All right, so now it's time to talk about the AI itself. I've mentioned a couple times that the AI has an opinion this way or the AI has an opinion that way. Let's talk about the 5.3 itself. What does the AI think when you as black go plonk for your first move? Well, <laughs> it doesn't like it. Put it that, that simply to you. And the, uh, the way white uh, refutes black here and what the AI says you can do is to just invade the 3-3. Three, three. And the reason why the AI doesn't like the 5-3 point is because the result coming from the 3-3 point invasion here works better than if black had just played the uh, star point. So the Joseki is going to look something like this. Very easy so far. And it should look somewhat familiar. This is a similar Joseki to when Black played the Taisha. And as you can see, White gets a lot of territory here. If we look and compare at just the regular 3-3 invasion from Black's start point, and this is going to be the modern variation where uh, White just keeps crawling here. And if we compare these two variations, I mean, it, it's quite obvious. Black is better from the start point, starting from the start point, right? If you compare it here. White has more territory. Black's wall is less effective. And this is the AI's refutation of the 5-3 point. And so... I think I can probably guess how you guys are feeling right now. And let me try to express it to you in the vein of uh, John Oliver. What the fuck? I just worked so hard on learning all the stuff attached to the 5-3. And now you're going to tell me it's just fucking gone. It's just fucking pointless. It's just let's not even play the game anymore, right? I mean, at this point, the A's I is like the freaking Terminator, the T2 Terminator, right? You guys know the meme. I know Arnold Schwarzenegger is with the little kid at the phone booth in the rain and he calls the, the parents and he goes, well, what's your parents' uh, favorite opening moves? And the little kid says, uh, oh, they like the 5-3 and the 5-4. And Arnold calls the parents and the, the Terminator, the T2, picks up. He goes, what's your favorite opening moves? And they say, uh, oh, I love the star point and I love the 3-4 point. Those are like the only moves you can play in, in modern Go. And Arnold Schwarzenegger has to look at the little kid and go, your parents are dead. But that's actually not the case. Let's rewind a little bit. <sighs> we calm down. And here's the truth about the AI. He's not your enemy. He, it's not your enemy. You can feel safe and secure. The AI is actually more like Arnold Schwarzenegger in that little bit I just did. It's your friend and it's here to, to help you and get you out of sticky situations, right? So if you watch any kind of the modern um, Go tournaments on YouTube or any other place like that, you might see a little bar at the bottom that gives like, oh, black has a 40%, white has a 60% win rate kind of thing. And in the past, when the AI first came around, we started to think, well, that kind of means that black really messed up somewhere, right? Like white has this huge advantage. But lots of times, if you can understand what the professionals are saying, sometimes it'll be a 70-30 in White's favor, but the professionals will go, mm, I still think this is a pretty reasonable game. I, it looks really even to me. Right? The human player cannot see the game the way the AI does. And so the professionals start to take this 60, 40, 70, 30, 80, 20 kind of thing and say, 
the game is more difficult for the player with 20%. The game is more difficult for the player with 30%. It's harder for them to find a good move, right? Somewhere along the line, they made a mistake that has made the game more difficult for them. It's not that they have a, only a 20% chance of winning in the human mind. It's that the game has become more difficult. And that's actually something we know about the 5-3 point, right? It's difficult. And that's what the AI is telling us. It gives you like a minus five, minus six kind of thing. And what it's telling us is this is gonna make your game a little harder. But that's what we want when we play the 5-3. We want complications. Our counter argument, right, is our opponent is not an AI. Our opponent is not a superhuman. Our opponent is not the T2 Terminator. <laughs> it can't impersonate any, you know, famous player style or something like that, right? Our opponent is human too. And what we're saying is we can handle these complications better than our opponent can. So the AI actually gives some advantages to the 5-3 point as well, especially if you use it in an opening formation, uh, in an opening pattern. So let's give an example. For example, let's say black opens with a 5-3. Just for example, white opens with a 4-4. Uh, and black opens with another 5-3. We'll, we'll get to this a little later. And white, again, another 4-4 four, four point, right? At this point, the AI would say white is winning. And now let's just say black approaches, white jumps. And here's one of the things AI likes about the 5-3. These awkward opening corner enclosures. The AI actually thinks this is good. And if you don't believe me, it might help if I told you that this was a professional game. Played in 2015 between Black, who was Iyama Yuta, and White, Hane Naoki. So even professional players recognize that this kind of opening pattern using the 5-3 can be really good, it can work really well. So even though the AI thinks the 5-3 is open to the 3-3 invasion, there are ways you can handle that. So, for example, if you played the 5-3 and your opponent plays the 3-3, if you start with the 3-3 and someone approaches it, it's recommended that you respond. But in this situation, you've done the opposite. You've played the 3-3 yourself, almost like you've been attacked and you played somewhere else. And so black gets another move. And in this case, a pincer can be very effective. It's a little bit different from the last time I showed you a pincer where it looked like this, right? White is lower. It's stuck in the corner like this. So you can cover but you can also think about pincering. This is even more effective if you already look like this and white jumps in. So that's why having a pattern, an opening idea with the way you're going to use the 5-3 is really important. You can't just play it randomly. If you play it with an idea in mind, the AI thinks that will work for you. And even if the AI gives you a minus five, minus six percent in the opening, even if the AI in the opening says you're losing by 40 points and black is winning by 60, right? 60 to 40, something like that. It's still the opening. And chances are you're not a professional player. The game will fluctuate so many times that to say that, oh no, I've lost 10 points in the opening, the game is over. That's not the case. You're not an AI, they're not an AI, and you can both still play these very human moves. By the way, you can also watch these lessons on our platform, gomagic.org. Except there, you'll watch them with interactive quizzes right within the lessons and practical exercises right after them. And if you enjoy watching these Go videos and you don't want to miss others like this one, go smash that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and this is Go Magic.